Welcome back after a long leave of absence. Here is uh, me playing another great game on the Mega Drive. This is Tiny Toon Adventures Buster's Hidden Treasure. And it uh, basically rules. Uh, it's a really good game. I'm probably going to fuck this run up like I always do with every game I try and play to any kind of audience. Um, now, the Tiny Toon Adventures, as everyone knows, is a freaking good cartoon anyway. And license game the license game problem didn't really exist at this point it kind of along the sort of Commodore 64 spectrum era there were a lot of shit licensed games but in all honesty there were a lot of really good ones on the Mega Drive it's quite a decent system if you want to get games based on movies cartoons or TV shows uh, as you can probably tell I'm invincible at the moment uh, but this one in particular uh, developed by Konami uh, so you know it's going to be good immediately it's just this great sort of Sonica like platformer with loads of great with little secrets and good features and the engine's really tight there's a lot of fun moves like you can jump off walls if you get a run up you can slide that kind of thing you can also summon one of the other characters to um, fuck shit up also you can do this which is one of my favorite bits of stupidity in any game or well, just failed to do it I love that that makes no sense on any level anyway yeah you finish a level by really reaching Gogo, -Go, as you can see. I think I'll rush through the second level because uh, they're not very long. When I was a kid, I used to try not to blink throughout this entire credit screen. I don't know why. Smug little bastard with his carrot there. He's just like, oh yeah, yeah. I finished the level. I've got a carrot. You know, go me. And as you can see, they ripped the map off from Mario World. Um, it's hard really to explain what makes this anything more than a generic platformer because it sure as hell looks like one. But everything about it is just tight. The level design is good, the bosses are fun, they are not too hard, the whole game isn't too hard. But if you really look, there's just so much to find and even to date, I'm still playing it and I'm still finding stuff. I mean I wrote a full walkthrough for this game, it was like the first walkthrough I wrote. And even, I went back to it fairly recently to check it and update it and even then I was finding new secrets, I just fucked that up. But it's okay because I want to get the secret exit, which is down here. But in general, it's just an excellent little Konami game. It's up there with something like Rocket Knight Adventures. It shares quite a lot of similarities with Rocket Knight Adventures, actually. Graphically, it's got that same kind of big, chunky look to it. Although Rocket Knight is less of a pure platform and more of a sort of action game. And very good. Uh, later on, it gets a bit silly with the difficulty, though, because... Um, there's a few levels which are just sort of unfair, like with loads of spikes everywhere and the lava cave levels, for example, which are really difficult. Um, maybe I'll do another video of the lava cave sometime because it's one of my favourite locations in games ever. And yeah, that's Tiny Toon Adventures. Thanks for watching.